Hello guys, it's and welcome back to another video. This video is a little bit different and uh, in this video I just want to talk about a few things about uh, I just want to talk about FIFA 19 and how EA could change this game in FIFA 20 So I have two problems right now and two things that I want to talk about in this video So the first problem or the first thing is uh, player retirements and the second thing is player dropping in the ratings when they when they reach 30, 30 mark so Talking about uh, this uh, player when they're talking about this problem. So player retirement So I think that EA could do something like this so they can implement uh, those uh, negotiations uh, When we have transfer negotiations, we are we can we can talk with those players and we can negotiate their contract and all that stuff You know and it would be good if they can implement something like this in the game when you can talk with the player about his retirement and uh, you could and for example if Ronaldo will is retiring uh, you should you should be able to give him a new contract or maybe give him one more year and you should promise him that you're gonna win the Champions League with the, with this club that he's playing right now and if and he should be accepting that deal and uh, he should be staying for one more year and you should convince him to stay you know it should be like this because in real life uh, there is there is a very good one example I believe Van der Sar and uh, a goalkeeper from Netherlands he played in the cha uh, in 2010 and he ended that season and MU offered him a new car and he wanted to retire guys and the MU gave him a new contract and they said that you got you should stay up for at least one more season because uh, you can win a lot of, we, we still can uh, win a lot of titles with this club and he stayed for one more year and he played it in the Champions League final in 2011 against Barca even though he lost but he still won that silver uh, he still won the silver medal in that game in that in the Champions League in that season and he played a, a very good a very good football in the Premier League as well so he had a pretty good season and uh, so it should be like this because you should be able to uh, contact with those players, uh, communicate with those players and give them a new contract or maybe convince them to stay for one more season. I think it would, it would be a fantastic idea and you, sh and it, uh, and you would be able to stop them uh, to, from retiring very soon. So it is very nice. But the, so the second problem is very huge. So one players are dropping down in, the, in their ratings. So as soon as they hit three, uh, yeah, when they are above 30, uh, about, when they are above uh, of age of 30, so it, it just doesn't make sense, they're dropping down massively in their stats, in their ratings, and they're losing so much uh, power in this game, and talking about Ronaldo, so now he's 33 years old, and he's 94 rated, and I played with my was with, was with Wolfsburg off camera, and I did a career mode, and I simmed for uh, four seasons, I played some games, but he dropped down to 85 rated, and it doesn't make sense, because I, no, I, not, I, I don't think that Ronaldo will drop uh, to 85 in real life, because it just doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. I and the, obviously the he will he will never drop down to 85 in real life because we don't have ratings. But in FIFA, he shouldn't be dropping that massively. And the one thing that that the, this is probably the biggest idea that I have right now, and I think no one offered this idea or uh, uh, told to someone because I think I could be the f the second person or the, or the first with this idea. So now I will I will I will, I will explain you everything. So for example, if you have Ronaldo. And uh, if he's 33 years old and he's dropping down, yeah, he's not growing anymore. So that's that's okay. He's not growing, so we don't need him to to grow because he's already a very good player. But the problem is that he's dropping down massively. And the, how you can stop him from dropping down? EA should be should do something like this. They should create achievements or or goals that you have to achieve throughout the season. And uh, and they give and they should give these achievements to players that are very old or uh, or above of age of 30 you know and they shouldn't be giving these ob uh, these objectives or achievements to, to those young players because it just doesn't make sense because they're gonna grow uh, on their own so it doesn't make sense but they should be giving these player uh, these old players uh, objectives or uh, achievements that they should be achieving uh, throughout the season and for example Ronaldo he sh and it w it would be my achievement would be to score 25 goals with, with Ronaldo in all competitions and he should be get and he should get five assists and for example he got only 15 assists and he got five uh, he got five assists and he scored 15 goals so for example um, you need to have uh, 30 score points so for uh, so Ronaldo only scored 15 goals and he and he needs 10 more but the season ended so that means that he scored uh, 10 uh, less he has scored only 15 goals, so he still needs 10 goals. To sc he still needs 10 goals, and he's 10 goals be 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 behind that objective. So that, uh, so 
I think that they should do something with this. If you have, if there, if you're five points, if you, if you're five score points behind that objective, you got your player rating should drop by minus one. And for and Ronaldo only scores 15, so that means that he's 10 points behind. So that means that his rating should should should, should drop should drop by minus two. And uh, now his rating should be 92. But if you in the next if if in the next season he will if he in the next season will will score for example if, now he's in the next season he's going to be 34 years old and uh, his uh, achievements shouldn't be very hard but his achievements should be 15 goals and for example five assists as well so if he got five assists and he got uh, 10 goals so it should be minus one or or for example he managed to score uh, 15 goals or and got 50 and got 50 and got 55 assists. His rating will should not should not be dropping down. He should stay the same, and he will, should be grow sh and he should be growing as well. It doesn't matter if he scored 25 goals. If you need only 15, he still should he should still be at at that at that same rating. But he can grow. But he and he but he also can't uh, go down. So this is probably the biggest the biggest change that EA could do in next year. And if they did something like this, this game would attract so many players to this game and a lot of people would come to, to, to this career mode and they would play this game massively because it would, uh, you would you would have a chance to prevent those players from retiring or from dropping down massively. So you would have a lot more control in this career mode. And now you just, you and it doesn't make sense because you're playing with, your, for example, with Juventus and you played three seasons and Ronaldo is coming to your office and he's saying that I'm retiring after the end of the season. And it doesn't make sense because you can't do anything about that. You can't even uh, talk to him. You can't even convince him to stay for one more season or, and you can't give him, and you can't suggest him any things, you know. So it doesn't make sense. He's just retiring from the season and that's it. And that's it. And you can't do anything. So it doesn't make sense. And it's not something that is that is that that goes in real life. So you you should be able to talk with them, uh, negotiate the contract, or convince them to stay for one more season. I and I think it is a pretty good idea, and uh, it should be like this. And they shouldn't be retiring uh, very fast because we have a lot of players in Juventus. We have Ronaldo, who is very old. Mandzukic is also an old player. This guy Man Matuidi Blas Matuidi from France. He's all he's he's already 31 years old, and he should be retiring soon. Take a look at this. Giorgio Chiellini, he's already 34 years old, and it just doesn't make sense because he should be dropping massively, but he's already 90 years, oh, no, 90 years, he's already, he has 90 rating and he's 34 years old, so it doesn't make sense because EA, if your, EA, EA logic is terrible, because if, when you're playing a game, you know, with Ronaldo, he, he is dropping down because he has, he's pretty old, yes, but Chiellini, they gave him 90, 90 rating and he's old so just don't give him that that high rating but at least uh, at least uh, give him for example uh, 87 rating and he should and uh, don't let him uh, drop that massively or that much because it would be a, a lot more uh, it would be a bit normal because now it does make sense uh, Bonucci yes he's 86 rated and uh, he's uh, 31 years old he will never grow but he will drop down as well so it doesn't make sense we also have I believe Kadira was pretty old. He's also, I believe, 31 years old. Yes. We also have Quadrado, I believe. He is very, pretty old. We have Rosali. It just doesn't make sense. He's 37 years old. And uh, he would, he would just, he would, he would not be good in this career mode. But he's still playing. And EA just gave him an 84 rating. And it doesn't make sense. We also have Banatia, who's a pretty good defender. He's 86 overall. His rating, I should say, his overall is 60, 86, and he's also 31 years. He has, and his age is 30, uh, 31, so it just, it just doesn't make sense how these players are still have these all good ratings. So EA just gave them a pretty good rating, but then they're just dropping down massively in their statistics and all that stuff. And I think, I also think that, uh, I think that the only thing that should be dropping is their skills. And their weak foot. It doesn't make sense when Ronaldo is 37, yet, for example, and he had the same skill moves as uh, as as he has not right now. It doesn't make sense he, because he would lose his control. He will he would lose his abilities. He will lose his form, and he will never be as good as he was. But at least he he should be keeping uh, his uh, his some of his stats, and uh, he should be keeping in that weak foot. And uh, I think that or oh, I think that. You, in in FIFA we should be ha we should have morale. So for example, we have attacking work rates and defensive work rates. So for example, now Ronaldo has the high low work rates. So if for example, if he playing he if he has a very bad season, for example, he only scored 11 goals or and he got one assist. Uh, so his morale should change and he should become a more defensive player or a more offensive player. 
for example, you, if we had something like ultra high attacking work rate and we had ultra low defensive work rate because he's playing terrible football, so he needs to score a lot more goals. Uh, if he wants, uh, because he's uh, because his image is dropping down, so it sh you should be able uh, to change or the or the computer should change this on their own because if the player is uh, is struggling, they should improve his attacking work rate because at least he should be trying a lot more. So I think it should be like this. And the specialities and traits, that's pretty good. But I think it would be good if you could train those players. And you can if you can train them, uh, and if you can give them a new trades and some... Yes, they can... It, and if we had a, an opportunity to uh, to delete one trait and give them and give him other, it would be so much better. And talking about stats, uh, I don't think that we should change something. But I think, yes, stats can drop a, a bit with, the age, with age and because you're getting older. But I think that you should be able to stop him from uh, dropping down if you're, as I said before, if you're get, if you're achieving those um, goals that you are that you, that you have set before the season, it, it would just change his career mode so much and it would be a lot more interesting to play for every single player. And uh, this is my idea. I don't know if someone told... Uh, if, I don't know if someone was talking about this idea, but I I think I just created this on my own. I never I, I, I never watch any any anything like this on on YouTube. So I just uh, I had a free day and I, and I was just talking. I, I I was just thinking how we can change EA, uh, this game and how EA can uh, what can EA do to improve this game even more in FIFA 20 because they're putting so much uh, effort into FIFA in ultimate team but they're just uh, they just forgot about us career mode players and us career mode youtubers that are playing this game mode and those big youtubers like mj chinese sports they're uh, are they're complaining so much because they're getting money from this and um, it was their hobby but now they're getting money from this and they're just uh, losing that interest interest and they have to play ultimate team in order to, to keep their channel alive and even though mjh is not playing ultimate team that much and he's not posting any any ultimate team content he he was he posted some videos last season, I believe last year, but uh, he's not an ultimate team player. He's a very good career mode YouTuber. I'm watching him a lot, and um, but he he's complaining about career mode in every in every single video. So I'm agree with that because I'm I'm complaining about this game as well. We have so much b b lags and a lot of different things that are laggy and main menus are terrible. So. I'm not gonna talk about all the problems because I want to talk. I will talk about these problems in my FIFA 20 wishlist video. But I just want to talk about these two problems about player retirements and about players dropping down in their statistics. And uh, it is a very popular problem. And uh, so I will make a lot more videos like this in the future. So hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, just hit that like button on this video, subscribe to my channel, and also uh, write some comments uh, and let me know what you think about my ideas and. Uh, and because I want to, I want to have a conversation about this problem, and maybe we will suggest these ideas to those big YouTubers. Maybe they will have a chance to to send these uh, things to those to EA, and uh, it would be massively, massively good. So hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.